Good evening. Uh, this is a quick tutorial on a simple uh, insert keyframe animation. The first thing that we want to do is go to your action script 3. Once selected, this is going to give you your stage as well as your pasteboard. Now, if you want your stage a different color, that's fine. Uh, all you need to do is on the pasteboard, right click and you'll see document properties. At this point you'll be able to change the dimensions whether it be the height or the width. If you have an image here that you want to sort of match the stage to that size you would just click on contents which since we don't have an image you can't do that right now. Uh, the other thing you can do is change the background color as well as the frame rate. Uh, the frame rate here that 24 is actually the standard frame rate so it's it's good to keep it there unless you're trying to go for a specific effect. So let's change the background color. I don't recall exactly the color that I have uh, for the ghost, but I know it's it's an orange. So let's, um, let's go with this orange here. Hit OK. The next step that we want to do then is actually add something to our library. So we want to go up to File. We want to go to Import and then Import to Library. Now what you can do is you can, we're going to do our ghost here. You can also import to the stage and what that will do is actually bring your image directly to the stage and it will also put it in the library. But if you're doing multiple images and you, you're going to be layering them at different times, it's probably wise just to put it in your library. The next step then is just to drag your ghost onto your pasteboard. Now this ghost is actually not not the direction I want so what we want to do is go into here and hit your free transform tool and what that'll do is put all these little black dots around it and then you can either shrink it uh, you can roll it you can do whatever you want however you want to transform it so let's just start it right there and as you can see once we brought this image into the library this has changed into a keyframe now, what I'm about to do is just arbitrary. Uh, I am actually going to be doing inserting keyframes um, every five seconds. Uh, that's just a uh, personal preference. Uh, you could do more, you could do less. Uh, so the first thing you could do is actually right click and then at this point just hit, hit insert frame. You'd hit insert frame again. You would do it again. And then you click on the 5 and hit Insert Keyframe. At this point, once you've inserted a new keyframe, then you would move your image just slightly. Um, basically, inserting keyframe is telling uh, Flash that you want to keep the previous image and that you're, you're sort of creating a new action. So that's one way of doing all those inserting frames. The easiest way, though, is if you know the timing that you want, is just to go ahead and left click on wherever the number is. So in this case, like I said, I'm doing increments of 5, so that would be 10. And then just right clicking, and then just hit Insert Keyframe. So we'll just move them a little bit more. And then go to 15. Again, hit Insert Keyframe, and move them a little bit more. And then just keep doing this until you've moved them off your screen. So insert keyframe, move them, insert keyframe, move them, insert keyframe, move them some more, insert keyframe, move them some more, and then insert keyframe. Move them a little bit more. Insert keyframe at 45. Move them some more. And then insert keyframe at 50. Move them some more. Insert keyframe at 55. And then we're going to move them out totally. And then we're going to go insert keyframe at 60, just so we have a few seconds of him actually being gone. Now, if you want to see what this looks like, you can convert this into, I believe it's an um, SFW or SWF file, which will actually play the animation. And if you're using a Mac, that'd be Command-Enter, 
or if you don't want to do that yet and you just want to roughly see what it looks like you have sort of controls down here you want to first rewind it and then you can hit play and then you can sort of see what your animation is going to look like so that's basically just a simple animation and you can do the same thing for um, letters so let's say we now want to add um, a happy Halloween so let's say we want to do an H and then maybe we would do um, again insert keyframes do it as five and now we want to add another letter which is going to be A insert keyframe and once you've inserted a keyframe you want to add another letter and then move five spaces insert keyframe insert keyframe and then put your last letter in there and then to end it off just do one final insert keyframe okay so again let's rewind it and see what it looks like hit play so we've got our ghost moving and then we've got Halloween okay that is a simple insert keyframe animation I hope you found this useful